swearing to get into the tent with, oh, just a mere 30 challenges between them. everyone welcome i am so excited this is my very first journal with me i yeah i've been wanting to do this forever if you watch my journal stationery haul i had everything but the journal but here we are today we have the journal and we have the mild liners the things i was missing and was lost so the journal i'm using is a midori a5 notebook i will have the details of all the tools i'm using in the description and you can also see me open and talk about the tools more in my journal stationery haul, which I'll also have linked below. So let's get into it. I'm going back, way back, two years ago, to my study abroad experience. I was in Germany for about half a year, and I do have some recollection. I have lots of notes and pictures all on my Instagram, but I felt like I wanted to document it more and turn it into something more physical that I can look at and so that's why I have here my beautiful journal so of course I would like to be caught up with 2020 but I'm gonna really take my time honestly this journal might be all study abroad because there's just so much that has happened in that half a year that I spent in Germany but yeah, so I did a study by program in January of 2018 and came home in June. I absolutely loved my experience. It was amazing. I mean, it's amazing enough for me two years later to want to journal about it. So as you can tell, it definitely impacted my life in a very big way. I have all these lovely little, you know, tickets and memories and little pockets of stories here and there in my notes and i just love to have it all compiled into this beautiful aesthetically pleasing notebook and also just use my creative juices and have fun with coloring and drawing and some collaging there's going to be a whole lot of fun stuff in here super excited yeah there's so many ways to go about this journal with me i thought you guys might enjoy seeing the rough sketches with my pencil first before I go into it with Micron or any inks because you can kind of see my thought process. Yeah, I got some relaxing music on and we have the vibes, you got the rain that just showed up. If you also journal, this could be something nice to play. You can kind of watch in the background. If you were listening to the audio in the beginning before the music started, You'll know that I am watching the Great British Baking Show. This is my show right now. I finished New Girl and I felt lost and confused because as much as I have the opportunity to start a new show, I don't wanna watch a show that I need to be like paying super attention to. And I was like, you know, baking is a good idea. And a few years ago, I watched the Great British Baking Show with friends of mine and I wasn't really into it. But yeah, I went back into it again and I love it. It's very light and although like there's obviously it can be really intense like the music is still really nice to listen to for the most part all the competitors are like friends a lot of the time and they kind of grow together and yeah you get attached to people you see people get creative so I just have been having a lot of fun watching that while drawing creating anything I'm doing it's just nice to have on the background so if you ever see me looking to the side, I'm either looking at references or I am watching the Great British Baking Show. <laughs> my dad is playing with my dog upstairs. <laughs> I think it's time for dinner for him. Anyways, as I was saying, Great British Baking Show, amazing. You'll probably see me in a couple weeks or so making a baking video because they look just so good and I used to love baking so much. And I still do, I just don't do it as much as I used to, ever really. I don't bake anymore. Definitely will need to get back in the kitchen and do some baking. I really wanna try sourdough bread. Um, I really wanna try fluffy pastry, but that seems a bit intensive and also lots of butter. <laughs> but yeah so that's what i've been up to i've just been creating things watching the great british baking show but yeah that's that's my life <laughs> i work i work every day and i love it i mean i it's weird calling it work because it doesn't feel like 
yes, sometimes it can feel like work, but I like to look at it more as just creating because that's what I'm doing. I'm drawing, I'm editing my video, I'm just starting to get more into learning about some new recipes and cooking a bit. I'm not gonna hype myself up too much on that. I've only did so many things so far. But yeah, I've been trying to incorporate some more healthier eating in my diet. Just overall growing and making new things, trying trying new things out. But yeah, that's kinda, that's where I'm at right now. That's how I'm doing. How are you guys? Let me know in the comments how you guys are feeling. Is this video helping? <laughs> I am riding the wave of inspiration right now and just running. Uh, yeah, I'm just running with it. I love it. I'm enjoying it. I think because I have all these creative outlets now, it is, I am trying to deal with balancing everything because yeah, there's just so much I want to do and figuring out how to allot my time better because it's not like I'm like, I'm always work I'm always working usually. I'm always doing something that's contributing to my work. But it's just a matter of like what things am I going to do each day and how how long am I doing each thing each day? Am I taking advantage of the time of the week to work on certain things, stuff like that. So you know, life is all about finding balance, so just trying to recreate some new balance. So I've been talking a lot about myself and what I've been up to and I can't wait to see how you guys are doing and letting me know in the comments. I feel like I should share more about the actual study abroad situation here, the study abroad experience. So I won't go too in depth in this video since this is an intro. I think it'll be really nice to share some of the stories from study abroad and some future ones when I actually am doing those sections of the journal. This is an intro study abroad spread so as you saw i did my front cover page i hate that i put all the color on uh i hate that i put so much color in the front but if you look in the end i end up, i fix it so don't worry it's not gonna be od like it is right now um but yeah so the next page i don't know if i should like tell you guys what the themes or what i'm trying to do because I feel like you guys should just see it for yourselves, but at the same time, I think it'd be nice to kind of know what I'm doing. <laughs> Figuring out the best way to do these journal with me is, is, is going to be a learning process. So I hope you guys will stick around and see how my journal with me videos evolve and change over time. But yeah, so the first page I did is the, of course, front page, just saying it's me. And I wanted to put the start date and the end date, which is empty. But I want to be able to know when I started and when I ended it. Because I just think that's really cool to document that. And then for the next page is my title page for the Study Abroad Diaries. Because I don't know how far this part's going to go. But it's nice to have at least a title page. So like worst case, like or not worst case, but if I do end up doing other like years or categories in this journal, then I can just do another title page and that's fine with me. You know, if I ever wanted to just flex this journal to somebody, they can open it and be like, oh, what am I getting into? Here it is, study abroad journal diaries. And I put a little cute intro as if it was, as if I'm the protagonist taking on the world one day at a time. <laughs> Thought it was cute and fun. I actually am the protagonist personality, if you guys have done the 16 personalities, but that's, that's besides the point. I'm just saying, like, I just wrote it as if I was a protagonist. I don't mean to... Actually, you know what? I don't care. <laughs> yeah, so I, um, I put a little post-it note there using Posca markers, and I'm sorry. My video did cut off, so you didn't get to see me using the Posca markers, but they are, in fact, being used on the cover page. I'm not so strict about what I'm going to be putting in here but it is gonna be like a very creative and artsy, but also it's gonna have a lot of reflection and journaling, so lots of text at some point. But these first three pages are more fun, colorful, and artsy pages, just to start it off, because I think after this it's probably, actually, I don't know, it's a secret. You guys will see what comes next after in another video. 
So definitely subscribe so you can see what's going to be next. And then my next page is a Spotify playlist I created. I didn't, I don't actually have, I literally made the playlist as I was doing this, but I do have these in my notes of all the songs that bring, that brings me memories of certain times. And I'll most definitely put more songs and or like associations with the songs when I actually get into the in-depth journaling of it. But I wanted to have some of the like favorite songs or the things that bring the most memories. So that is what's on that page. All the songs from there. All the songs that remind me of Mannheim, which is where the city that I was in. And then the little album icon or playlist icon is the Schloss, which is like Mannheim's like thing it's most famous for is the castle. Um, that's also the school where I went to. Where I went. It's also the school where I went. Um, I think I did a pretty good job with recreating the castle and everything and I had fun making like many simplistic versions of the album covers of the songs and then the last page is my absolute favorite it is the page of all my friends all my lovely lovely friends and people that touch my heart in some kind of way and yeah I absolutely adore these people and Studying abroad was amazing because, yes, I got to travel the world and see so many new things, which was unforgettable, but the people I was with made it so much more fun and hold the most memories and love towards. So, yeah, I had to give them some love and I had to put their names on there. And, oh, it's so cute. I love Little Heart. And, yeah, that is everything I have got to figure out how I'm going to structure this. Um, anyways, please enjoy the next few moments, adding some finishing touches, a little extra love on the last journal page, and I'll catch up with you guys in just a little bit. guys i am so happy with how this turned out my favorite page is the last one because it has all my friends names on it and they're the ones that have stole my heart and made my study abroad experience so so special i feel like there's so many ways to make these videos as i said before so please i would love to see your guys' feedback let me know if you do or do not prefer the rough sketches inside of the journal with me the time lapses do you like more voiceover or less voiceover? Kind of like a mixture? Just let me know. I really want to make it the best experience for you all. And also, let me know what page of the journal is your favorite. And of course, if you would like to see more Journal With Me's and other fun creative adventures like this, subscribe, ring that post notification bell, and don't forget to comment. 
Thank you so much for spending this time with me. You are appreciated. You are loved. Keep going. And I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.